Okay, so I didn't want to review these just because I don't really love the colorway, but a lot of you guys were asking about it. So, hmm, hmm. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look on these, well, I love the shoe. I just don't love this colorway. And this is the Nike Air Penny One in a brand new stadium green colorway. I don't know if this is themed after anything. I think that the colors that they're using here are just very weird together. And I'm not talking about the gold, white, and green. I think that that all looks great. JDF just had his one year anniversary of his passing. So shout out to uh, the original Green Ranger, the best of them, in my opinion. However, there's this random blue on here. And that's the thing where I'm like, what is that about? Why is that there? So I think that's a little strange. It's also like sneakily everywhere it's in the little jewel logo that's down there at the toe it's up here on the tongue it's on the pull tab it's even made its way into the logo on the heel like why the f is that there oh and just in case you forgot boom it's on the outsole too so yeah i don't know if this is a themed shoe and they just didn't explain like what the theme was i just haven't seen it anywhere all of a sudden these are just available and that's all i know so i didn't see them on sneakers either so there's no like description but as far as the outsole goes it's still beautiful minus the weird color thing and what do you know there's even blue inside the air unit i mean it's everywhere and then moving on up from the outsole we've got a file on midsole you've got that file on support wing that moves its way all the way over to that lateral side of the foot it's broken up by two different colors you got white and green file on there this feels the best so far out of the penny retro or penny one retros i should say um i know that like we've done the original colorways and a couple of or i think this is the couple like the second the other non-original colorways was those uh the black with the yellow swoosh so this one though i don't know if they change factories or if they just kind of like like changed materials but the file on wing right here just feels much better it feels much more like what the original did and the past retros it doesn't feel as thin soft and cheap as those original colorways were uh, if you've gotten those original colorways and you like always felt this and been like man why is it so flimsy there all of a sudden this one doesn't feel like that it feels a little bit better and then inside as far as tech is concerned obviously you could see the the rear tech it's completely visible you got a max air unit i don't know if this is necessarily considered a max air unit today but back in the day there was was a max unit back there. It was huge and it was awesome. And then the forefoot, we've got a zoom air unit. And just in case you wanted a visual, it does look like this. So you got this in the forefoot and then max air in the back. The insole is a cheap piece of shit. So you can either do one of two things. You can keep it in there or you can remove it before you wear it. Preferably there is glue down there. So if you do wear it and then you do decide that you want to remove it, make sure that you use like a hair dryer or something to kind of heat up that glue. Otherwise there's going to be lots of little foam things like stuck in there and trying to rip it off itself. Now, as far as the colorway itself is concerned, funnily enough, I'm sure this is no surprise to you. The more that I hold them, the more that I kind of like them. Uh, I just absolutely love the penny ones. So I think that the penny line in general has like zero misses. I think that the one through four, even the foam posit, if you want to consider that one as part of the actual main line, which a lot of people do, there's really no misses within the line. You know what I mean? If you want to count the five and the six, I wouldn't just because those were not performance shoes, even though you could play in them. But yeah, the one through four plus the foams just what an epic you know what I mean? Like just everyone was awesome. So yeah, the more that I hold these, the more I'm kind of like, maybe I like these a little bit more than I thought that I did. But I think that that's just my eyes tricking me because I just love the sneaker and the silhouette overall. I just don't love this colorway. This reminds me of some dunks that I reviewed a long ass time ago. I gave them to your dad. Remember? They were green and gold. Yeah. You don't remember. You talk about them all the time. So I've conjured them up in my brain. But you don't literally <laughs> remember them. Do you know that when you remember something, you're not actually remembering that moment? moment in time you're actually remembering the last time you remembered that event. I call bullshit. It's true. <laughs> Where's the kid at? <laughs> Which kid? This one. A bullshit. A bullshit. As far as the materials are concerned, they're all synthetic. It's all very cheap. So this to me doesn't feel worth the price tag. These shoes are fing expensive now, dude. Like what the f happened? I don't know when we got slapped with all of these high ass prices for every shoe but we did and uh yeah if you like quality and like actual good materials then you're probably going to want to wait for these to go on sale which they should eventually once these hit closer to that 140 or under mark i say go ahead like great tech in there a good looking shoe colorway depends on you know your preference so if you like this colorway then great but just saying that there's not a real piece of leather or anything on here not that there was originally the original was a durabuck which is synthetic 
new buck, but still, uh, for the price, you'd think that there would be something, you know what I mean? And there's not, not even a good insole. I will say though that the colorway itself really reminiscent of a other great colorway. I don't know which one you'll like best, but I know which one I like best and I picked the red one. These red ones just hit different. Now, one of the other great features on the Penny One is the pinstripe tongue. It is still there. It just looks a little weird because it's green and silver and stuff or green and white. I can't actually tell. I think it's, I think it's white, but uh, yeah, it's, it's in there. So in case you absolutely love that feature, then there you go. I know that they've been switching it up on some colorways where it's like suede and everything like that instead of the typical like stretchy knit. So if you don't like the suede and you prefer the old school method, then it's on this colorway. I do wish that they uh, kept this back collar area like green and then black, just like they did with that red colorway, just cause I know that this is gonna get pretty dingy and dirty looking like really fast with all that white back there, but it does still match like the entire upper. I don't know what it is. Why, why is this shoe so pretty all of a sudden? They're clean, they're clean. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, the Penny Ones are a tough one to crack. Uh, this guy right here just fits weird. So if you go true to size, they're gonna be real floppy in the heel. They're gonna be loose around your foot. And then if you go down half a size to kind of counteract that, they're gonna be suffocatingly tight and pretty uncomfortable until you start to really break them in and everything. And then even then, every time you put them on, you're gonna have to like redo the breaking process and be like, these are tight. So uh, this is one of those shoes where it's just like, good luck. You know what I mean? Like hopefully they fit you well. Typically I would say go down half a size, especially if you're going to play in them. If you're going to wear them casually though, I understand that could be a little uncomfortable. So uh, true to size for most, if you're a wide footer, true to size should be good to go. But other than that, just know that the sizing on this one or the, the overall fit, probably not the best. So like Eric Avar designed the shoe. I tout him as one of the greatest to ever do it as far as like footwear and design are concerned. He designed some of the best performing basketball shoes of all time, but uh, uh, this one's you know overall fit like just sloppy this is one of those shoes where if you're an nba guy and you wear the thick socks or you double sock and then you have tape probably a good fit but if you're not one of those guys it's just like a floppy ass shoe but man they look good and with that being said you'll be able to grab these damn near everywhere currently right now so if you're in a retailer or you're at the mall or you're near a retailer or maybe you're just surfing online you'll probably be able to find these in multiple sizes if you're local here in the sacramento area make sure that you check out phenom they have them available in a full size run you can also check out their brand new website which is linked down below in the description box to check out not just this shoe but any shoe that you might be interested in that they have in stock and with that being said thank you so much for hanging out with us we greatly appreciate it and we will catch y'all on the next one so until then have a good one this is so sad what i just wanted to make sure that i was accurate in what i told you what your the memories drinks? oh so eventually they just fade away well no so just this one paragraph says according to a recent study just as you can't step in the same river twice your memories are changed by the act of recalling them meaning that every memory we have is colored by the times we've wrecked recollected it so the more often you recall a memory it makes that memory less accurate it's like playing telephone that's exactly what one of the articles said saying your memories is just like playing telephone i still don't know if i buy it just because i have memories and i'm just saying they're the same every time well then you're an anomaly oh i doubt that i'm gonna donate your body to science i'm gonna keep it to myself <laughs> i had a dirty joke i'm not gonna say it